Okay, good day to everyone. Okay, so I'm here to discuss with you a very interesting topic, which is very timely. Because last time or last week, we have already experienced several typhoons. Okay, so napakadami typhoons na dumaan dito sa country natin. So mainly, isa na dito si typhoon. Rolly, followed by Typhoon Son, Typhoon uh, Ton, and pinaka-recent pattern is Typhoon Ulysses, which really gave us a very disastrous impact sa country natin. So let me discuss with you how Typhoon developed. So that would be our topic for today. Okay, but let me, uh, but let me uh, test your memory first. Okay, so I want you to to recall, because I have uh, given you uh, an assignment. I want you to watch the movie Into the Storm, and this movie was already posted and published in your module okay so let us answer the following guide questions okay so these are the different guide questions that we need to answer okay so let's have number one okay so what was the movie all about okay so the movie was all about so from the the title itself it's all about the storm okay so there was actually an unexpected storm no na dumating dun sa sa town specifically sa Silverstone Oklahoma okay so basically dun natin makita yung uh, different impact and different um different effect of typhoon on that particular area in the movie specifically sa Silver Silverton Oklahoma. So that was the movie all about. Okay, so doon ang start up yung, yung kwento doon sa, sa movie na yun. So it's all about the impact of storm on that place. Now, what was the name of the armored tank used to shoot footage inside the tornado? So if you're going to recall, it was um, it was used by Pete Moore. Okay, so the the name of the armored car is Titus. Okay, so it's actually similar to a military tank. Okay, however, ang pinaka uh, main uh, description dito sa armored tank na ito is basically uh, makikita mo, meron siyang parang, parang meron siyang device na pinutusok Okay, pinutusok siya dun sa, sa lupa, bumabaon siya sa lupa. So, since in case uh, magkaroon ng malakas na typhoon, nakukuha nila yung footage. Kasi itong armored car na to is actually been designed para madocument what is actually inside the storm or the storm. Okay, so yun yung kaya yung mga built-in cameras on so, yun ang pinaka main purpose ng armor tank na yun. To, to shoot footage on what is happening on uh, what is actually inside the storm. Okay, so gusto nilang malaman ang mga baong na sa loob ng storm na yun. And, and actually, ginamit ito ni Pete Moore to change uh, storm. Kasi mga tinatawag sila mga storm changes away. So, doon nila binudokumen kung kano ba kalakas ang untak or kano kalakas ang speed or kano kabilis ang speed ng isang storm. Okay, so that's how the armor tag is being uh, used in the movie. Okay, so what was the significant of the armor tag in the movie? So actually, I, I have already answer it. So, the reason why it is used in the, the movie is, of course, to, to document, okay, to document the speed, to document the, the, the structure of the, the, the entire story, okay? Now, in the movie, who is responsible in giving information about tornado? So, it's not only the tornado itself, but 
yung yung typhoon or the storm. So it was the literal disease, okay, which was played by um, Alison Stone, okay. So she was a meteorologist, okay. So he was, uh, she was responsible for giving forecast about uh, the status of the, the the tornado or even the the storm itself. Okay, so what was the role of uh, vice principal? So vice principal was Gary Fuller. Okay, so ang pinaka main goal ni the vice principal then was he was able to rescue many lives. Okay, in the movie. Okay, because it was just actually a mere fact that they were actually preparing uh, a graduation no, dun sa movie na yon. but it just so happened that during the graduation there was a storm okay so the, the main goal there is he, he was able to rescue many lives in the, the movie okay and of course what were the effects of tornado shown in the video? Kasi kasi sabi kasi natin tornado, nakita natin that the tornado actually came from land tataas. Okay, so basically, it has a great impact to the point that um, it destroys, uh, it destroys uh, structures, buildings, houses, and somehow, meron din pinakita doon na fire nido. Okay, that caused uh, death to one of the characters in the movie. Okay, so if tornado is somehow, uh, sabihin na natin, it's somehow para siyang malaking wind. Okay, from land, pataas, going to the atmosphere. Okay, where in, pinakita doon na nagkaroon ng uh, fire nido rin. Okay. So, what lesson did you learn from the video or the movie itself? Now, if you're going to analyze the, the movie itself, okay, so the, the moral lesson that you can get from the movie is we need to be prepared and we need to be alert every time there is a natural uh, calamity. Okay, it's not only about uh, the storm alone, but basically all types of natural calamity. The most important thing that we need to to do is we need to be prepared and we need to be alert in order for us to to be uh, to be prepared in order for us to to survive in any kind of uh, catastrophe. Okay, so that's the the moral lesson that we need to to invite in our lives that every time there would be natural uh, calamity, we need to be prepared and we need to be alert. Okay, It's not only during, but of course, we need to pre be prepared before, of course, during, and even after uh, the storm based on the, the video. So it's very different guide questions that, that you need to answer. And I hope that you have already answered these questions. Okay, so based on this, no, this will be our objectives for the lesson. So explain how landforms and bodies of water affect the typhoon, and then let us try to understand how, how typhoons are formed and developed. Okay, so as I've said earlier, our uh, topic for today is all about how typhoons develop. Okay, so let us have this recalling concept. Okay, so because when we're, we're talking about weather, okay, so it is actually an atmospheric condition. It seems to be very unpredictable. Okay, it changes from time to time. Okay, however, we can experience uh, different kinds of weather. It's all because of the different elements that we need to consider. Ano ang mga elements na yun? So let us try to recall. Okay, there is the wind factor. There is also what we call the humidity. You also have the amount of precipitation and of course, the air pressure. Okay, so if you're going to look at 
we're going to look at the picture. So we have two weathers here. So we have calm weather and we have stormy weather. So how do we experience okay, calm weather? And when do we experience uh, calm and clear weather? Okay, so to play them. So this has something to do with the diverging winds. Ano ba yung sinasabi natin diverging winds? So pag sinabi natin diverging winds, if the wind is basically uh, if, if the wind is actually uh, moving in a downward uh, direction or outflow direction. So, ba bakit bumababa yung, yung hangin? Bababa. So, it seems to be the cause of having diversion. Bakit bababa yung wind? It's all because this happens in a high pressure area. So if it is in a high pressure area, the tendency is the cold air will go down. Okay, and that particular moment is what we call the diversion. Yeah, so we say to him, kung yung cold air ay bumaba in a high pressure area or, or using in a high pressure system, then we experience a calm and clear weather. Okay, so basically, ito yung sunny weather na na-experience natin. So, just to be him, if you are experiencing sunny weather, then what you are experiencing is a high pressure area. So, be him, yung cold weather na yun is basically circulating in a very high pressure area. Okay, however, when do we experience stormy or cold uh, out stormy or cloudy weather. Okay, so this is basically because of the conversion wind. Okay, so pag sinabi natin conversion wind, baliktad naman sa diversion. Ibig sabihin, yung wind naman, the air is actually moving upward. Okay, so this actually causes the air to move up. So this thing, isa sa pinaka main factor dito is yung air pressure. Okay, so ibig sabihin, kung ang, ang air natin is basically moving upward, okay, ibig sabihin nun, we are actually creating hot air or warm air. So, the warm air now rises. Okay, so kapag yung warm air umakyat, that creates a low pressure area, okay, or a low pressure system. So, sabihin, a low pressure area is made up of warm air. Okay? So, kapag namuo yung tinatawag natin warm air, okay, so definitely it creates a low pressure area. So, if there is a low pressure area, then that's the time we experience a stormy and cold or cloudy weather. It's again, it's really a big factor to have this air pressure. Kasi sabi nga natin, air pressure has a great effect on weather. Okay? Specifically, sabi nga natin, when, the, when warm air rises, then it creates or it produces low pressure area. So if there is a low pressure area, then that's the time you experience stormy weather. Now, because of this low pressure area, it creates the term cyclone. What do you mean by cyclone? Okay, cyclone is specifically a low pressure area with a rising warm air. So, ibig sabihin, doon pa lang kapag nabuo yung low pressure area. Okay, dun sa area na yun, nakakabuo ng isang low pressure area, then that is already considered as a cyclone. Okay, sa ano nga ba ang cyclone? Okay, Saan nga ba nang galing yung word na cyclone? Okay, so cyclone, okay, so where does the cyclone come from? Basically, it is a, a Greek word, cy cyclosine, okay, which means the circle or mirror. Okay, so doon natin malalaman, ano ka ba yung direction 
ng isang cyclone. Okay, so doon natin malalaman paano ba magiging low pressure area at paano ba magiging high pressure area. Okay, aside from uh, carrying from a, a divergent and convergent way. Okay, so tingnan naman natin yung direction. Okay, since it is being uh, discussed here that it is in a circle of wear uh, description. Okay. Now, so let us now discuss further about the cyclone. So how does the air move? And in what direction does the air start to move? Okay. So ganito po yan. So if we're talking about uh, this kind of, uh, if you're going to look at the picture. Okay. So titignan natin. No, tignan natin paano ba gumagalaw yung cyclone. Okay. So how does the air move? Okay. So tignan natin. Kasi in a cyclone, cooling air moves in and takes place of the rising air and the, and the air currents begin to spin. Okay? Okay, now, how will you describe the movement of the wind? Okay. So, it actually creates a spiral. Okay, so kasi tingnan natin yung direction or the movement is actually spiral. So, the wind spiral into the center of the cyclone. So, ibig sabihin, kapag yung cyclone, yung low pressure area is actually towards the center. So, makikita natin ito yun. No? If the wind is actually towards the center of the cyclone, okay? So, basically, doon natin makikita. Okay? So, it actually moves in what kind of direction? It moves in a counter- clockwise direction in the northern hemisphere. Okay. So, if the direction of the air moves in a counter clockwise direction, then what, is, what does it cause? It causes rainy or stormy water. Okay. So, it is sabihin, if the air is basically coming from a low pressure area and the movement of the wind is actually towards the center of the low pressure area or the cyclone itself and it moves in a clock counter I mean counter clockwise direction then it causes storm weather Okay, so yun yun. So, kaya tayo nakaka-experience ng typhoon, it's all because the wind, okay, nakabuo ng low pressure area going to the center of the cyclone in a counter-clockwise direction. Okay, so the wind is in a counter-clockwise direction, then that particular area will experience a rainy and stormy weather. Okay. However, in the contrary, so kung kanina meron tayong cyclone, then there is also what we call anticyclone. Now, what is anticyclone? Okay, so this time, a high pressure area containing cold and dry air. So, big sabihin, pag sinabi mo namang uh, anticyclone, okay, you are creating a high pressure area. Okay, so what seems to be the day, what seems to be the movement of the air? Okay, so if, if kanina, sabi natin, a cyclone is actually moving uh, basically on the center, towards the center. Pagdating sa anticyclone, okay, the wind spiral around out. Ito po yan, no? Out. Kasi kanina papunta sa center. Pero this time, sa high pressure area, okay, it's basically a uh, moving out of the center sa labas. Okay, what seems to be the direction? So, kabalik tayo lang. Definitely. Kung pati na sa cyclone, it is counterclockwise. Pag anti-cyclone, okay, it is in a clockwise 
direct so on. So what does it cause? So it usually brings a clear, dry, and fair weather. So kapag nga ako experience tayo ng sabi weather or fair weather, that only means that we are in a high pressure dif- uh, because of the divergent winds. Okay, so it's a bit more cool or pababa. Okay, so ang movement na yun na is basically out of the center and it is actually in a clockwise direction. So that creates high pressure area, it creates a fair weather. So alam na natin na kaya nagkaroon ng typhoon. Okay, it's all because there was a build up of low pressure area. So paano yung movement pag yung low pressure area? It is actually towards the center of the cyclone. And at the same time, it is actually in a counter-clockwise direction, which creates a stormy and rainy weather. All because of the low pressure. Now, if it is a fine weather or fair weather, then definitely it's anti-cyclone. Okay? Okay, so we are two cyclones to this. Ano nga ba na develop ang mga cyclone? So, cyclones normally develop over the oceans of water, warm ocean waters, and we treat it a uh, clockwise direction. Now, specifically, cyclones develop in Pacific Ocean. Okay, so in Western Pacific Ocean, the low pressure area brings in cyclones. Yeah, so alam na natin na saan ba nagdi-develop ang um, cyclone. So definitely over the warm uh, waters of the ocean, specifically the Pacific Ocean. Okay? Now what is the difference between hurricane and typhoon? Yeah, so yeah, discuss natin. So this is the computing natin, computing na natin yung term nila. No? So the ocean so, ang ulit siya ng European is basically in West Indian Atlantic Ocean and in Indian Ocean. But when it comes to typhoon, primarily, it actually originates in the Pacific Ocean. Okay, so the word, the word origin uh, of the of the European came from Huracan, while the typhoon uh, came from Arabic as Tupan and Chinese word typhoon. Okay, so the word meaning of hurricane is a Mayan god of wind. Okay, however, the, the words here, the Arabic and Chinese words, pertaining to a big cyclonic storm or great wind. Okay, now the formation of the wind speed of the hurricane is primarily 120 to 320 kilometers per hour or 119 kilometers per hour for the typhoon. Pero kung titingnan natin, basically, ang typhoon at saka hurricane is actually the same. Okay, nakaiba lang sila mismo doon sa origin nila. Okay, so ang tinatawag pag ikaw ay nakatira sa Atlantic o malapit sa Atlantic Ocean, so the term that we use there is hurricane. But if you are geographically located near the Pacific Ocean, so the term that we use there is typhoon. Okay, pero kung titignan natin when it comes to wind speed, halos pareho lang naman din sila. So, basically, pareho lang sila. Okay, so hurricane and typhoon. Okay, so based on the the movie into the storm is tornado a storm. So, tingnan natin kung tornado ba is basically a storm. Basically, tornado is a violent rotating column of air in contact with the ground, pendant from a cumulonimbus cloud. Okay. So, tornadoes typically form in the spiral rain bands of hurricane or storm. So, balikan natin is a tornado a storm. Yes, definitely. Tornado is actually a storm kasi so tornado is actually a part of a storm. Okay. Pero tingnan natin, ano ba ang difference ng hurricane sa tornado? Okay, kasi si hurricane, kung titignan natin, hurricane actually came from a warm water of ocean. Pero kung titignan natin sa tornado, saan ba siya nang galing? Sa tornado is actually coming over the land. 
and quantity the story. Okay, so ibig sabihin, galing siya sa lupa, paakyat. Pero basically, saan ang galing yung build up player from a tale of the story. Okay, pero kung titignan natin, how long does it last? Ang hurricane o yung typhoon na tinatawag natin, actually it lasts for three weeks. More than, okay? But when it comes to tornado, it usually lasts no more than an hour. Okay? But you would see that uh, it actually have a greater wind. Pag sinabi natin tornado, kasi it could, could have a... Uh, uh, strong winds for more than 300 uh, miles per hour. However, pagdating lang sa hurricane, it only gives us 118 miles per hour. Okay, so where does the typhoon begin? So as I said na kanina, typhoon begin near the equator and move westward gathering uh, intensity size. So primarily, no? It leads to heavy rains and powerful winds. Okay, so sabi na natin. So let us now learn about tropical storm, tropical cyclone, and the typhoon itself by means of their wind speed. So paano mo ba nalaman kung yung, yung lakas ng hangin na yun is basically considered as a cyclone, a storm, or a typhoon? Okay. So, our basis there would be the wind speed. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin tropical cyclone, okay, ano ang wind speed pag sinabi mo tropical cyclone? Which is basically less than 63 kilometers per hour. So, medyo mahina pa siya. So, kapag if it is less than 63 kilometers per hour, then it is considered as tropical cyclone. But if it is a tropical storm, then it has a speed of 63 to 180 kilometers per hour. So it is considered already as a tropical storm. But if it is already a typhoon, then it is more than 119 kilometers per hour. Now, kapag may super typhoon siya, this is more than, okay, it's more than 120 na. So, 130 kilometers per, per hour. So, it could be considered a super typhoon na. Okay, so it actually is beyond this 119. Mas malakas pa dito. Okay, so kaya na i-consider as, um, as super typhoon. Minsan nga na i-declare pa ng pag-asa yung uh, signal number 5. Okay, so I think kay Ulysses may ganung may ganung balita umabot ng uh, signal number 5 is because it, it is actually extremely more than 119 kilometers per hour. Okay? Now, so this would be the question. Is it possible to upgrade tropical storm into UNK? Is it possible? Yes. Okay? So it can be upgraded basically based on its wind speed. Okay, so pwede po yan. Pero kasi ang pinag-uusapan kasi natin yung geographic location. So kaya sa magiging hurricane is all because if it is coming from, uh, if it is actually coming from the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, so basically it can be upgraded tropical storm to hurricane. Okay, so it actually based on the wind speed. Oh, yan na po yan. So, what are now the effects of typhoon? So, kung i-recall natin yung nangyari kay uh, typhoon Ulysses. No? So, these are some of the effects of typhoon. Okay, so we have landslide. Okay, so primarily this one. This is the landslide. Of course, depth. And depth. Another one is the loss of properties. This one, you also have floods, okay, floods, and of course, those of electricity. So, these are some of the effects of typhoon. Okay, so I hope that you understand how the typhoon developed. So, 
for to sum it up how the result is the typhoon develops because of uh low pressure yeah okay so a low pressure area is basically um the, the wind is actually uh spiraling towards the center of the cyclone in a counter clockwise direction so where does the typhoon develop basically over the ocean okay over the warm water of warm waters of uh, the ocean okay so by now do we uh nagsisimula ang bangyo creating a low pressure area okay so do we need to develop so that is why the philippines is primarily considered as prone to typhoon it's all because geographically we are actually near the pacific ocean so kaya madalas tayong uh, puntahan ng bagyo kasi malapit tayo sa pacific ocean okay so ibig sabihin the warm waters of air in the pacific ocean basically turns into low pressure area at yun ang nagiging dahilan bakit nagkakaroon ng typhoon Okay, so I hope that you understand uh, this one and you, you get something from the top. Okay.